so what's up everyone today we have another initial D car being the God arm Honda s2000 I think this is part 8 of this series uh, yeah, so let's get right into it this is like one of my more favorite spec cars from the from the show but I think we're just full on stock all throughout here. Yep. Okay, now for arrow, for the front end, you want the top secret front bumper. Then for the spoiler, you also want the top secret wing. The rear bumper, you just want the stock. The hood, also stock. The side skirts you want the JS racing or J's racing I read it up here I thought it said JS because I can't see the little my mind's blank of what that's called and I graduated high school okay uh, <clears throat> but yeah JS racing <laughs> I like how I said it again J's racing uh, then you want the semi slick uh, race tires, you want the front and rear tire with stock. For the wheels, gotta find them. We got the specialized, and they are the work. Dang. Um, put these on another build recently. Is, these, are they, is it Genesis or Genosis? I don't know. CV203s. Yes, so in the drivetrain you want the race clutch, race transmission, which is the six speed, the race drive line, and drift differential. Then race brakes, rally suspension, race front anti rolls, race rear anti rolls, waist right race weight reduction and no roll cage then the engine you want the race intake the race throttle body race fuel system race cam race exhaust race ignition race valves race displacement race pistons race flywheel and race oil and cooling now for the tune your tires you want 28 in the front 30 in the rear gearing you want 2.20 final drive 417 first 289 second 217 third I feel like I need to sneeze <laughs> um, 217 third, 166 fourth, 125 fifth, and 107 sixth. Then for camber, you want 0.5 negative in the front, negative 0.2 in the rear. Toe, you want positive 1.7 out. Rear, you want negative 1.0 in. For your front caster, you want 5.5. Any rolls, for your front, you want 25.5. In the rear, you want 19.4. Your suspension, you want 241.3 in the front, 261.3 in the rear. The lowest you can get it on right height, front and back. For uh, damping, you want your rebound to be 6.5 and 6.0, and your bump to be 4.0 and 1. You shouldn't have arrow for your braking. You want 65% towards the front on balance, and your pressure, you just want 100%. Then your diff, you want 83% acceleration, 15% deceleration. God, I hate, I hate to this time of year. My allergies are freaking bonkers. Alright, um, this is another custom color. So for paint group one, you want to go to, uh, 
you want to go to the uh, special colors you want this green metal flake then for the hues and stuff for your low light you want 63 1 54 and your highlight you want 63 1 1 that's how you get the color hood stays the same oh yeah then paint group 2 you just want black just regular old black Uh, I don't think you can change the color of that. Alright. Then the wheels, you want like, uh, is it bronze? Yeah. No. Yes? Yes. You want the brass semi gloss. And then you tint the windows because it can't be fishbowling, so. Anyway, I'm gonna take this for a little downhill spin. I'll get that later. Um, so yeah, we're going to go for a little downhill spin. At the end, when we have all like 20 something cars that I want to make made, we're going to, I'm going to do a video where it's just driving them all downhill timed and seeing which one's the quickest. close, I almost went into those rocks, that would not have been the thing. Is that a V12 swap BRZ? That's what it looked like, I only got a quick glimpse of it. But what it looked and sounded like. Oh yeah, another thing, if you're watching it and you made it this far, I know I'm not going to score a lot on the drift zone, but that's because I'm not really going for score right now. I'm just kind of like... I could be drifting that whole thing, but I'm just kind of taking it because these cars are meant for like downhill racing and not drift scores. So I do have plenty of drift builds. Dang, I was doing so good. I was doing so good. And then I just took that corner just a little too slow. But that's fine. gonna throw me off my game a little bit the whole rest of the way down though. I like this car. This car is one of the easier ones to drive out of all of the initial D cars. I got all of them built and tuned and everything because these things take some like serious fine tuning to kind of get them to drive right. Shouldn't have dropped it first right there. And I shouldn't have tried to hook the tire in the gutter. <laughs> That's what's cool about some of the gutters in this game. If you have like rally suspension, like softer suspension, you can like hook it and then stick it. Of course, you can't like full throttle it because you will fly out but you can't hook it. Okay, 
setting up for like the hardest corner in the entire downhill. Just freaking took it, took it like a real G right there. Anyway, took it downhill, made a couple mistakes, but this is one of the easier and more forgiving cars to drive out of the initial D lineup, because a lot of the other ones are like the Sylvias and stuff. A lot of Sylvias, like, those are like the most unforgiving. Actually, no, the, <laughs> the 8.6 is like the most unforgiving one. Not the one that I already did a video on, but the Project D one. I have a whole different build and tune and everything, the one with the carbon hood. That thing is so unforgiving to drive. Then you got like the Sylvias and all the Nissans, but anyway, that's it for today's video. Uh, We end off all the videos here with donuts, so we're going to do some donuts. I want to say thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.